Hola amigos, hola amigas, Dorian here from Hoovalux. Welcome, bienvenido, croissue, assalamu alaikum. Welcome to my channel. Howdy all and good day Australia. So today we're going to be working on this Electrolux 170. First, I had some cable arrive. Now this is, uh, let me double check. Yes, it is two core. I got black and white. And the cable is kind of uh, flatter on it, so it's a lot more um, storage friendly. It's 10 meters each, so I bought this. This came yesterday, so there we go. And also I have got here another pack of the vacuum cleaner bags, which is suitable for the turbo power and also the turbo master. Now somebody was asking me about bags for these and uh, these are the ones I use on all of them. It fits the turbo powers and the turbo master as well. It's got that kind of uh, um, cardboard attachment to it at the back for the vacuum cleaners and that works really well. So I've ordered another pack of them. So there we go, they arrived. Now, this, the Electrolux 170. This one has been fully cleaned out. It has been retro brighted and everything. What it needs now is a polish because plastic is a little bit dull on it and it could do with a good um, bit of V6 compound polish on it just to try and brighten it up because it does look a little bit dull. So what we're going to do first of all is I'm just going to remove the bag like so. I'm going to leave this upright for now. Now I have cleaned the bumper on this, but I want to take the bumper off. So when I polish it, it won't get in the way. Give it a freshen up before I put it back on. So there we go, this is my Electrolux 170. So what we're going to do is polish it because that is what it needs is a good polish. Uh, it was extremely yellow and the retro writing I did on it last year definitely has made it a lot uh, brighter than what it was but still got a bit of yellow patches on it and I'm hoping a really good polish with the V6, V36 Chemical Guys compound polish uh, will just take that away and just make it nice and bright again. So without further ado I'm going to move you guys a little bit closer and we will start the polishing process on this. So I brought you guys a little bit closer and I have got the stuff that I need for the polishing. First of all I'm just going to give this a bit of a clean up. So I'm just going to spray some demon shine on it. Just to give it a bit of a clean. Because it's been sitting around in here for a couple of weeks. And it's gotten a little bit dusty. Now you can hear in the background I have the fan on. I have to have the fan on because it is just too hot. So unfortunately you've got some background noise of the fan. So I do apologize for that. But there's not much I can do because it's melting in here. And I think we set for another Scorchio next week as well. Right, so that's cleaned off. I've got my drill bit here. I've got the thicker sponge on it because I really want to get down uh, and take a good layer of plastic off. So I'm just going to put the drill bit in there. Never put your polish on this dry and start polishing. Always wet it. Water or whatever. I'm just going to use a little bit of Demon Shine just to moisten the sponge slightly. We'll do the head together and then I'll put you on fast forward where I do the rest. So the only thing I have to be really concerned about is um, not to damage this tiny little logo here. It's pretty scratch, but don't want to lose it completely, so I'll cover that. All right, so I'm just going to doll up some polish around this and rub it in. Okay, and I'm going to start on the top.
so I can still see some of the yellowy bits on it here. I haven't done any of the rest yet. Right, so I'll put you guys on fast forward while I carry on with this. This is going to take a while for me to give it a really, really good polishing, polishing out. So I'll put you guys on fast forward. So that is all the polishing done. There's just a tiny little bit of residue in this grill. Now, I had a bit of a mishap when I was doing this. The edge of this pad, which my fault, I should have made sure that this side was also moistened slightly as well, touched this dry and burnt a big area on it. And what I had to do was take a very, very fine and rub the burn out evenly across the plastic, which it did, and then polish it then to make it shiny. So if you do make a boob like that, it is possible to rectify it with some very, very fine sandpaper and then the polishing pad after. Anyway, so that was that. I decided to use the big one on it to um, help. So what I'm going to do now is just remove the polishing residue off the plastic of the machine. Oops. Definitely looks a heck of a lot shinier than what it did when I first started. Now the bags on these are they're a right pain because you can't really retrofit another bag like a um, SIBO bag or something like that because the bloody hole is the um, the wrong shape. It's like an oval shape. That's what I was hoping to do without really realizing the shape of the hole that goes in the dust bag. Which is a shame because these would work really well. With like a SIBO bag fitted on them. Because the suction on them isn't too bad to be honest. I'm going to get two more cloths. <coughs> Give this another polish. Hopefully you can see now how nice and shiny it is. There we go. Fantastic. Right, let me just give the bumper a bit of a wipe over because uh, I just noticed some dirt on the back of it which I hadn't noticed before. Let me just go clean this bumper and I'll be back now. So I've given the bumper, a bit of good clean. I'm just going to dry it off. There we go. Just dry my hands. Now, what I'm going to do is 
it. Yes, it does. box on here doesn't matter. I'm put the battery back in this. Put a little splodge. Just give this a bit of polish. Big difference. Oops. Got it all. There we go. It's nice and uh, shiny now. It's a bit better than what it was. Uh, that is the back of it. Okay. Supposed to. There we go. Oops. Just gonna give it one more spray. Oh, 
that now looks so much better. This was really, really yellow before I retrobrighted it. So if you go back in my videos, you'll see this being retrobrighted last year. I did the two of them actually. Fantastic. Okay, that is that. Now the bag. That is such a shame. Um, actually, if I take one of the ones that I bought. And I'll put it up here. You will see. It does. Well, actually, it does fit. No, actually, that does fit up in there. Hmm. Maybe, 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 maybe. If I take the paper off that. Feed the bag through the hole, like so. So now it's in like that. And this cuff holds it, so let's have a look. Turn it around that way. Just stuff in the bag down into it. Try one of these SIBO bags. Nah, it's not flexible enough. It's definitely not flexible enough. No. Let's try a Henry bag. Actually, do you know what? The pneumatic bag fits over it better. That actually clips onto it properly by the rubber seal. Do you know what? That fits on really well. Wow. Oh, that is amazing. It was brilliant. So the pneumatic bag fits over this and clips on the plastic really well. To stay in place. Push it up. Okay, do you know what? I'm going to take this one out that I tried and I'm going to put this pneumatic one in. What I need to do is to keep the bag open. <clears throat> put 
push the bag in like so. Swivel it round. Fingers up into it. Clip it on. Tuck it in. Hey! Fantastic. Let's just try it. That works really, really well. Wow. Well, I'm well impressed with that. So there we go. I will be able to use... I'm going to save the clip of this other bag. And one thing you should always do, one thing I do recommend is that if you are throwing out the bag, detach it from the top because at some point in the future, you will absolutely not be able to get these bags. So I suggest you keep these as a template so that in some point in the future, if you need to make other ones out of cardboard or plastic, that way you've always got the template. So. I'll be keeping that as a template. So what we're going to do now, I'll save that. This is one of my new ones. In you go. It is, I'm going to have a little bit of a tidy up here. Put all this stuff away. And then we will get on the floor and we will have a demo. Okay, so I've put down some of my normal detritus, which is uh, the sawdust, and I've also put in a big pile of sand as well. So if I zoom you in like that, we'll have a look and see if we get much agitation. So you don't really get that much agitation with this unfortunately because you can't adjust the height on it. So if I pulled, when I pulled the vacuum cleaner back, which raised it up a bit, which then caused the carpet to suck, you did get a lot more agitation, but that's not true because I'd also, you know, because I'd lifted the vacuum up. But you can see in the carpet, I'm looking in the carpet now and I can't see any grains of sand there so it's done a really good job of agitating the carpet to remove the grains that were there I'm not saying it's perfect but 
this is only a tiny little economy machine um, and it's done that really well so let's just finish off um, by just finishing off and cleaning the mess that I have here just pop you back on the tripod okay and we we'll finish off picking up the mess I love using this machine. I really do. This is my childhood vacuum that I remember. I was only talking about it the other day to my mum, actually, when I showed it to her. She was like, oh my gosh, I remember that. I said, yes. I said, uh, Dad killed it with the uh, Christmas tree pine needles that had fallen off after Christmas. So this one has had a well-deserved polish, as you can see. And it looks absolutely fantastic it's gleaming absolutely gleaming looks really really good it's got its light on the top there and inside there we've got a more modern bag so there we go i'm very happy with that so i can save my original bags because i like to use these all the time you know i walk into the bedroom into the hoover room and i go and pick one and then i'll go and use it so i really enjoy that i can use them i don't have to worry about oh I better not use that much because I'm out of bags so I can save all the bags for it and just carry on using it right so let's get this up on the bench and we will finish off the video 
So there we go, my little whippersnappers. That is this wonderful Electrolux 170. Just to confirm with you guys, it is uh, 280 watts. It's very light, as you can see. The BA brush roll on it with the meter bar does work very, very well in getting out all the grit from the carpet and uh, the suction on it is really not that bad compared to how old it is um, I really do like it not just a part you know not just the fact that it was a childhood vacuum uh, so there we go that is it that is all lovely and tidy let me just give you one more dust because I can see some dust now the reason why I'm doing this polishing on this is because the next video you are going to see is me with the German Fakir. Now that one was the 350, I think it was. I haven't got it here, I got it upstairs. The pens for painting the bag with the logo that it all faded off, they have arrived. I have them here. So I have these paint marker pens. And what I'm going to be doing is putting the lettering back on that bag. Once I've done that, I'll do a video on that, and then the one after that then will be a house demo, and I'll be using this with the Fakir, because they are very, very similar in design, um, and then I'll use both of them in a house demo, so you'll see both of them next to each other and being used, but this really needs to have its the bag logo put back on it, just to really bring it back to its original look, because I've cleaned it all, and polished it and washed the bag and everything so I really just want to finish it off by putting the lettering back on so that's what the video I'm going to be doing tomorrow uh, you won't see it till a few days after and then after that then I'll do a house demo with the two of them together so I hope you find how I do the polishing of the plastics like this using the big machine is really really good on the larger expanses of plastic I mean, Sam uses it when he's uh, something similar to that when he's doing the turbo powers and the stuff, and the result is absolutely fantastic. But uh, I wanted to do it a little bit on this because it's plain white, and then use the smaller one um, on some of the nicky nacky bits, which were a bit awkward. Anyway, I hope you've enjoyed. So I will see you all in the very next video. Please take care, and I will see you very soon. Bye, y'all.